infinite yes. sink. I believe we all know what infinite sink looks like or what it is. Anyways, for the benefit of those that doesn't know what it looks like, here is what it looks like. If you're an Archicad user, you agree with me that this particular type of sink is difficult to achieve in Archicad. I mean, they don't have the option for it. Even the option for it might not look like what I just showed you. Now, in this video, I want to show you how to manipulate Archicad 25 cabinets to get this type of sink done. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss videos like this. Now, let's get started. So this is what I did. This is a kitchen I modeled. This sink, I'm try I was trying to create an infinite sink, but it's obvious that there is no infinite sink in Archicad. So I'm here to show you how I manipulated Archicad cabinet to get this particular type of thing done. First thing first, as you can see, there is white here. It is the division from this particular cabinet I did. I'm going to convert this cabinet to morph in order to get it done. But before I do, let's do this in the settings. Make sure this is activated. We are trying to create an infinite sink here. And then you say, okay. You see that it sinks a little bit. Just convert this to morph right now. And say, okay. Then the next thing we do, we try to delete this demarcation that is obstructing our sink. Select it and delete. Then we have our sink. You can see there are different elements. So you just select this top and move it. Control D on your keyboard, pick the edge and take it up. So make sure you, you select your, you, you are holding your shift so that it will snap. And then just pick this top, this point here. So it snaps. Okay, so you can see. Oh, we didn't get the point. Or we go to our elevation and do that particular thing we want to do. Draw an elevation line from here. Pick an elevation line here. Draw it here. And then view this. You can easily do it here. Okay, so we can easily just pick this point here and drag it down. Easier on the elevation. Okay, now go to your 3D. As you can see this, I believe we should be able to pick it from here and just take it up here. Now we have corrected, we have corrected that little extrusion of the sink. So the next thing is change this material to the counter material. Okay, as you can see, it's still showing lines like two. What we do is we are going to, now, I didn't tell you, the reason why all these elements can select individually is because our suspend is active. Suspend group is active. Okay, when you, when you convert to morph, it's always in group, as you can see. I just uncheck this and if you select this, it will select in group. But if you want to pick them elements by elements as it was created, then you have to suspend the group so we can select them individually. Now, having done this, we are almost done. Now on suspend and then select the entire stuff, right click and say union. Go to here, brilliant operations and say union it would connect and join. As you can see, we have successfully created an infinite sink. But note that this is still, this is still morph and you cannot edit the length. Now, in order to edit the length, we have to convert it to object. Select this and select this, go to file and go to library and object, go to save selection as I checked and there is no option to save as cabinet so since there is no option like that we just have to save as object okay but I will take it I will save from here instead from the plan mode
Okay. Save as object. And then I'll type the sync. I'll say infinite sync. This is because in case you want to use it again and you need to increase the length. Infinite sync and you say, okay. Then you can go to our object and just anything you saved, it will be the last thing on the object memory. Like you can see, infinite sync, just, just pick, drop it down here. And we can easily just rotate and place it. Yeah. Of course, we are going to delete the old one. And then drop it down to the same level. There you go. Here we have our infinite sync. We can go further and change this particular sync from stainless to something else. You can see the materials that are still there. We can change it to something else. Let's change it to this, for instance, or change it to a proper. You can always change it to anything you want. Okay, this is fine. All right. So we can place our tab here. Let's just quickly place a tab. Tab, we have the tab and we select any tab we want. I think uh, this one is fine. Okay. So we go to our location and just put stop guys this one. Okay, now you have an infinite sync, like so. So this is how to create an infinite sync. If you have any other option on how to achieve this, you can let us know in the comment section below. This, this is how I manipulate to create an infinite sync. But if you have any better option on how to easily create this, you can easily drop comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.